Hey guys, I went out yesterday and picked up a few more things. A couple of crochet hooks here. I'll give those to my aunt. And some wall hanging bits here, shelf and stuff. This I thought was neat. Somebody spent a long time carving that. That's hand carved. And on the sides, too. Nothing on the back. The doors open up. And I got this. I opened it and saw that and just shut it and grabbed the whole thing, but that's all it is. It's just cheap costume jewelry. There's nothing else in there. Got a stainless martini shaker. Probably sell it on eBay or something. And a little bunch of knives here. Probably sell that in a garage sale or something. They sell pretty good. And then this, this I thought was really strange. There's a local artist that paints or that painted these saw blades. Pretty neat. Show a couple of them here. That one's really neat. She had them for sale at her in her studio, but evidently they didn't sell, so she didn't want them anymore. Really neat painting, so like that. And I got some more junk here. Some these I'll probably use their electrical boxes. And a mailbox there. That'll sell at a garage sale. Got a Toro bag here. It's brand new. A couple of brooms here. Just need handles. There's actually they were on the same at the same place. There's a handle here from a painting. Extension handle. And it screws right into there. Make a decent little broom. And I got some ortho home defense max. Looks like this one's leaking a little bit. But they're full. A couple gallons there. Some more gas tanks. And mystery boxes. I'll clean this up a little bit and get into them in a bit here. Got some a random pulley, a birdhouse, some crud cutter. <laughs> I actually found some F11 top coat. I guess it's junk, but there's a little left in there. I might try it out. Birdhouse is pretty neat. Hang that up. Got a filter for a shop vac sears. I'll definitely use that. Some more scrap here and a nail pouch. That was kind of neat. Got an axle, some scrap. Got one of them sewer sewer drain covers. That's heavy. Some more random scrap here. But I'll clean some of this up and get into some of these boxes. Yeah, hopefully I can get through this pretty quick. There's a lot of stuff here. It's like a lamp thing there. A bunch of wire. I just grabbed it. Oh, yeah. There's some brass here. Looks like a solar uh, light of some sort. Faucet. Yeah, good, good scrap. This box, there's a fan in here. It had a tag on it from Ace. $35 repair tag, so I guess it still works. Some gas line hose. A couple of brackets. Let's see. Two stroke oil. Some putty knives. Some staples. Oh, nice. Got a players in a players pocket thing. Oh, nice. CT. Good stuff. Got some Dremel sanding bits in there. Scrub brush. A gas cap. One more. Ortho home defense. Oh. Some mouse trap, I guess. Some. I guess a faucet wrench, maybe. Some uh, twisties, safety glasses, ace hacksaw blade, another hacksaw there. Looks like a tile drill bit or glass drill bit maybe. It's kind of neat. Oh, made in the USA. Nice. So 
sheetrock, crap, more safety glasses, uh, looks like a shock mount bolt or something maybe, this I'm not sure what's in here, hopefully it's not just junk, oh, yep, just junk, some handle, Oh, I see tools down there. Nice. Some trimmer line thread tape. A wrench. Five sixteenths. Workforce. A bunch of screws. Tile spacers. Fogger for bugs. Blades, or a knife. Oh, Stanley knife. That looks new. Maybe use one project. Needle nose. A whole bunch of deck screws. Yeah, that's a good one. Another wrench. Workforce half inch. Scissors. Nice. Whisk. Some more tools down here. Grinder tools. Let's see what's in this one. Um, grease gun parts. Um, oh boy. Oh, Trojan coping saw jigsaw blades. Um, hacksaw blade or you know, brackets. Faucet parts, delta parts, um, anything else in here? Nope. Mostly junk. This one, I got a bunch of wire. I'll scrap that. Some caulking and stuff. It's still good. That one's still good. Yeah, I think they're all good. A flashlight. I doubt it works. Oh, it does work. Nice. <laughs> Don't even have to buy batteries. It's ever fit. Spring. Some random steel junk. I don't know what this is? Some basket of sorts. Oh, 220 plug. That's nice. Twist lock. Straps, oh, yeah. brass, and junk. This one was pretty heavy. I just grabbed the whole box hoping there's something good in here. A few barbell weights. Those sell pretty good at garage sales. A squeegee. Looks like somebody forgot to put that back at the gas station. Oops. A bike pump. Sure, if it. Yeah, I'm sure that still works. A little shelf bracket there, probably burned out. So, table saw fence. It's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, what does it say? Cognac, France. That's pretty neat. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Got a sprinkler, random steel, this is junk, it says I shouldn't have grabbed this box probably, oh what's that, there's a pit, looks like a tractor pit, yeah, John Deere tractor piston, that's a lot of aluminum there, tote lid, junk, a couple of license plates, belt, like a garage door opener, a chain, and a rake head. I can fix that rake head. Uh, bike seat. This is nasty. I'm really wishing I wouldn't have grabbed this box now. That's gross. Pretty decent tote. Yeah. Yeah. Just about 
here's another thing I thought was pretty neat. It's an old ice fishing hole auger, rather. So it says made in Sweden or something in there. Yeah, made in Sweden. And this is a really old bike pump. That was pretty neat. It's really heavy on the bottom. It obviously doesn't work, but kind of neat. <laughs> thought this was really funny. It's a chair. I was just going to pick this. I thought it was just a seat on top of the chair, and I went to go pick it up, and they screwed it to the chair as a... I don't know. Why would somebody put a $150 lawnmower seat on a $2 chair? Anyway. It's a new blade. One more blade. And this, I think it goes to a Kubota. Not sure where Alice Chalmers maybe. So, one more shoot. Hardly ever used. The bucket of garage door parts. It's pretty heavy. Alright guys. Till next time.